Brands like the one I'm showing you today are reshaping the affordable watch market and leaving the likes of Seiko for dead. Why do you ask? Let's get into it. <laughs> Yes, and welcome to the Mad Watch Collector Show. More and more companies, other than the big boys, are showing us watch enthusiasts that high specs doesn't mean high price. And there's no better brand to talk about right now than Zelos, a Singapore micro brand that have been going since 2014, so almost 10 years. First known for their big divers, but also well known in the community for its amazing customer service, top value for money watches, and awesome dials. Now for me, a little bit of a purist when it comes to watches, Zelos haven't really been on my radar. I'd probably stick to the vintage inspired aesthetic like the Laurier Neptune. So having a dive watch with an outrageous dial hasn't appealed to me in the past. Well, I was lucky enough to have been sent one of the new Mako version 3s that went on sale last Friday. There was a lot of variants, but in just over 24 hours, every single watch was sold out. Now for some time, I've wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, today's the day, and I'm going to tell you whether I think one of these are worth it. Are you Zelos ready? Let's go! And ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Mako 3 Midnight Blue Edition. I am a sucker for blue. At first glance, it's very hard not to look at that dial, but we've got a stainless steel case and bracelet. I'm already loving the look of this case. It's given me Seiko 62 mass vibes. It's given me SKX vibes with the crown at four o'clock. It's also given me Zinyu 50 vibes. Very cool. I love the way this crown is sculpted into this case. I don't think I've seen that before, even though we've got quite an extra extravagant dial, this watch is very tally and ready for business. And on first impressions, this is an absolute winner. Quick spec check! Talking about winners, have a listen to these lovely numbers. 40 mil diameter, 46 lug to lug, 14 thick, including that amazing double dome sapphire, which I love by the way, and a strapaholic 20 mil lug width. We've got a screw down crown and a screw down case back, giving this watch 300 meters of water resistance. This is a proper diver. And talking about that case back, oh for f What's that noise? Nothing dear. Oh, <laughs> and welcome to another episode of the Design House, where today we take a look at a Mako version 3. <laughs> it has a 9015 movement from Myota in it. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, uh, <coughs> I mean, a shark. Lovely picture of a shark embossed on the case back. Very nice. Uh, I definitely would have preferred a display, but uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, and who's scared of a shark? Oh. But the polishing is very good against the brushing of the stainless steel case. This is a limited edition, so only 150 of these are made. But yes, a shark. <laughs> well, not the best looking case back in the world, but a very good etching nonetheless. I'll see you next time for another edition of the Design House. <laughs> Oh dear. Darling, I've wet my pants again. Um, could you just click that like button, please? It really helps the channel. Thank you. That thin bezel is a thing of beauty as well. It's got a sort of skin diver look to it, hasn't it? I love the brush knurling around the side of the bezel. That's going to give such a good grip to those fingers. The insert is not only ceramic, but it is also loomed. And I guess we better see how it does in the World Bezeling Federation. Hi, I'm Kurt Santana. And welcome to the World Bezeling Federation. Dedicated to finding the best bezel on the watch. Three rounds. The look, the grip, and the Fidgetability. Let's get a bezel in. Oh my, what a beautiful bezel this is. We've got a brushed ceramic inside, deep coin edge with a brushed finish. Fingers crossed, this is gonna be a great bezel to twist. And onto the grip. Is it loosey goosey or is it tidy? 
tidy. It's a 120 clicks of sheer wonderment. So tooly. Toolier than my cousin Tony the Tooly Tiger. Absolutely no back play whatsoever. This thing is going to survive any kind of fight you have with a jellyfish. And on to the fidgetability. How much do I want to twist this bezel? Morning, noon, and night time. Well, it's a tad stiff for it to be truly magnificently fidgetable. But I have fidgetation dreams nonetheless. Less. And that puts the z Loss Mako 3 on our all-time leaderboard. Bye-bye, bezel lovers. Yes, this is right up there, this bezel. It's an amazing thing to twist. Have a listen. There is not a single bit of back play. Magic. I gotta say, I love the bracelet. It's a three link affair. Solid end links, solid links. We've got a polished chamfer to them and they are held together using screws. The clasp is a master in machinery too. I gotta admit though, the one thing I don't like in a clasp is seeing polishing. I've been wearing this watch for about three to four days and I've already scratched this up. Never polish a clasp. But I do love that Z logo. The clasp is milled, but take a look at this quick slide extension, giving you a centimeter of adjustments in case your wrist expands or despands. Why can't big brands make a bracelet like this for under 500 pounds, eh? Okay, let's look at the face. Dial time. And what an awesome bit of art this is. It's guilloche textured with a fumé style blue sunburst. Just like you're diving into the ocean. I've got to admit, at some angles, it looks like I've left my fingerprint on the crystal. But it's one of those dials you just look at and realise you haven't checked the time yet. We've got silver framed applied markers going around the outside of the dial. A five minute chapter ring going along the outside of that. A very cool silver Z below the 12 and we have a date window at the six o'clock. I'm all right with date windows when they're at six. Still get my symmetry, don't I? The hands at first are quite simple, but then you realize, actually, I've never seen these hands before and they look really cool. And I do love that seconds hand with their tip of yellow. All in all, a truly awesome dial and very unique to this brand. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this excited to see how much a watch glows than this one. So out of 10, how does it fare up? Wow, isn't that awesome? We've got C3 Super Lumen Over on the bezel insert and the indices and the handset and a great little tip of BGW9 on the seconds hand. Just another one of those little attentions to detail that makes this brand so good. Powering this baby is a Myota 9015. A Japanese automatic movement running away at 28,800 beats per hour, 40 hours power reserve and has an accuracy of minus 10 to plus 30 seconds a day. The operating of this watch is lovely. Love the grip of the crown, particularly as it's brushed. And as you can see, we have hacking and hand winding. A very nice. Hello. On my six and a half inch wrist, and this is awesome, isn't it? It doesn't feel like a 40 to me. It feels more like a 39. The way the lugs and those male end links come down from the case makes this watch so wearable. I gotta admit, this watch was hard to film. That double dome sapphire crystal brings out all sorts of reflections. This is definitely a summer watch for me. I'd be wearing this to work, out with the family, to the beach, to a picnic, or just out on the town. There's a long list, isn't there? Amazing case design. One of those cases that looks familiar, familiar to watches that we all love, yet still be in its own thing. It's the first time I've ever loved a diver with a thin bezel. I think the brush grip on that is tremendous. And just everything about this watch leads me to believe that there has been no stone left unturned. There are so many fantastic little refinements to this watch that you're left I don't know, bewildered as to why this watch isn't more expensive. Also, we've got to mention the clasp. Absolutely amazing. Well, I've got two. One being the packaging. It is awesome. It's a watch roll that comes with every one of these watches. Awesome little slot pillows that come out. As I said, I've got a six and a half inch wrist and I had to take out five links. But unfortunately, the pillows that come with this case no longer fit the watch and I can't close the clasp anymore. It means that this awesome case is now redundant to any one of my braceleted watches. Might be quite good for a couple of Casios though. 
The only other negative about this watch, the clasp. Although it is very pretty looking, I have scratched the polishing of this already. And for some of you, that might just be unbearable. <laughs> $429 these were when they came out, which is to us Brits, £342 and change. Minus the import tax. Now the last show I did was for a new release from Seiko offering a far, 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 far less. It's almost laughable. I believe, and tell me if I'm right, most of you guys out there that own Zelos watches are also Seiko fans. And to get a Seiko with the same specs as this Midnight Blue Mako, you're gonna have to spend at least £2,000 pounds and that is just mad isn't it and that is why the likes of Zelos in particular are doing so well they have shown us that to make a very good watch it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg and with the buying power the selling power and the marketing power of Seiko there is absolutely no excuse why they can't give us a product like this but they don't I am completely in love with this Mako 3 I'm so glad Zelos sent it in for me and it has definitely made Made me doubt buying another Seiko. I'm being honest, I love Seiko. It hurts me to say it. So here is my wife's first impressions of the Zelos Mako 3. <laughs> wow, this is interesting. I like the whirlpool face. I'm getting Zorro vibes. The swordy hands and the shield makes me think of Robin Hood. And the button on the right makes me think of a detonator. I don't mind this one. Zelos, you got a good review there. God knows what the Robin Hood reference was though. Very happy I've got to review another micro brand that the watch community loves. I understand it now. That is the benchmark for me for whatever micro brand comes my way. What a show. Uh, talking of what a show, check this one out. This is phenomenal. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> I was awesome in this, probably. Go on, click it. Click, click, click it.